everybody Damon at uh, Black Warrior Lures gonna show you how to make your own treble hook or in this case is a quadruple hook or quadrax hook is what I call it and uh, the thing is is that when you're fly fishing you have all kinds of single hooks all the time you don't get too many treble hooks you don't use them very often but getting into catfishing for channel catfish you use treble hooks all the time especially with cheese baits and punch baits things like that well in, you know instead of having to uh, now I gotta go buy a bunch of treble hooks you no know, I'll just use the fly tying vise to uh, make some um, quadruple hooks or quadrax hooks now what I have is a bunch of number four hooks on hand and I have several number eight hooks again my favorite hook must add 3366 what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it put it here on the vise hope you can see that and uh, get your fly tying vise, get your shears, your thread snips and you're going to lay down a little bit of thread and uh, all the way back to about the point of the hook wrap it back forward magic thing is super glue with this put your super glue on that all the way down there like that put a good bit on there don't be ashamed of it sometimes you can do it like that now what you the way you, the way you're going to do this is you're just going to take this one and set it up uh, 90 degrees right there on top of the shank and you just wrap it all the way back down to the point of the hook again okay wrap it back forward don't have to worry about touching turns and all that stuff right uh, now and so you know you can kind of adjust it a little bit it's not going to always be perfect but that's okay and so same thing here now I used to uh, clip this off but usually what I find is best is I just take this um, right there same thing again doesn't have to be touching turns but just wrap it all the way down and wrap it all the way back up and so then you can kind of adjust it or whatever like that and then the same thing on the opposite side now you could stop right there and there's your there's yourself a treble hook right there but you know it's not exactly the same because it's not exactly equilateral so what I do to uh, uh, address that is just to put another one here on that other side there and just make it a quadrax hook and so and I have fished them with trebles like that and caught nice big five pound bass and it's held up you know uh, this is essentially a variation on my uh, on, on the hooks that you've seen me do with my uh, tandem flies like the uh, like here the only difference is I'm just not using monofilament thread I'm just putting the hook directly on the shank and wrapping it forward and, and relying on super glue to um, hold it there. And then you just, you know, wrap it down, back forward, uh, usually with something like this. One half hitch, two half hitches is plenty. Cut it off. Uh, come back with another some more super glue on top so now you got super glue all throughout this thing here and uh, that's the cool thing about CA glue is that it just you know it just binds together and it makes a thing and I put, put a little bit too much glue on this one right now but uh, and that'll dry and uh, you just want to make sure you coat all the threads and there you go and there you have one finished treble hook or quadrax hook and this is a number eight you can do these number fours you can do is put as uh, whatever size that you want and uh, and that'll fish and it'll catch fish and it'll work if you have if you want to get into some treble hooks or, or things like that but just don't feel like having to go buy a whole bunch of more hooks set it right there like that it'll just stay up and then we'll just sit down and do a whole bunch of these and we'll go catfishing once they dry. I do recommend that they sit up for about a day or so, although although CA glue is known to uh, be careful getting it on your hands. C although CA glue is a very strong glue, 
I would recommend that you, um, it takes about a day or so for the aroma of that glue to just sort of dissipate. And so that's what I would highly recommend you do. Just let it sit there for about a day or so and it'll be just fine. But just make a bunch of these, take them catfishing. Uh, let me know what you guys have done to, to make these sorts of rigs and things like that. You know, have you ever done things like this, making these multiple rigs like this? You know, because I've always find that this holds surprisingly well. But anyway, rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know some of the things that you guys have done uh, with regard to weird things for fish hooks. All right. I'll check you guys later. Bye.